Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick, and I'm a top author on training you with over 190K reputation points. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. This is the place to go for high quality free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. In this video, I will be speaking about gold. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders, so the CO2 data, which is what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, which are essentially hedge funds, so the big players in the market. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here on this pair. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that at the moment, the market is testing a quite strong historical structure level of resistance. In fact, from here, all this previous rejection to the downside was created. Again, here, the market tested its zone and rejected it to the downside. Again, here, the market tested its zone and rejected it lower. And in a situation like this, especially because the market is currently heading for another test of the zone, we could expect a bit more bullish price action for a retest of the area and then to see a potential reversal to the downside away from the zone. Going down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? From a weekly perspective, we can see how the market at the moment is creating this W formation. In general, after the creation of a W, what we could expect is for the market to create a move lower for the completion of the pattern at the neckline, which is the previous resistance turn support. So here on the weekly time frame, what we could expect is a bit more bullish price action for the creation of this W formation. And at that point, if we get a bit more bullish price action, we would also be once again inside of that monthly resistance that we have previously identified. That would definitely increase the probabilities of seeing a potential reversal to the downside. But at least for the short term, we could expect a bit more bullish price action. Going down on the daily time frame, what do we have? Now, from a daily perspective, I did speak about gold after the creation of this W. I wanted to see a correction potentially a bit lower to this level and then a rejection higher. Now, that is what the market gave us. However, the correction was very soft. Then the market created another impulse to the upside, further essentially creating the continuation, which is going and creating that W formation on the weekly time frame and potentially also testing that monthly resistance. In a situation like this, where we just got the break above structure, we could expect a retest of this new structure, which is previous daily resistance turn support, from which then we could expect more potential bullish continuation. It is also important to point out that as we have an impulse, if we want to measure the correction, what we have to do is take our Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg, which shows us how we have a 50% and 0.618 Fibonacci retracements currently lining up exactly in this zone, which creates confluence of support from which we could expect a potential test and then a rejection to the upside to go and create that W formation from which then we could expect the move lower. Now, if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the CO2 data, which is what hedge funds, so the big players in the market are doing, what we can see is that net positions in the long run are definitely getting decreased. We went from the high of 195k net positions all the way down to 165k net positions. So clearly they're getting decreased, which makes perfectly sense because we are inside of that monthly resistance zone that we have identified at the beginning of the video. However, it is also important to keep in mind that with the very last report, we went from 163k to 165k net positions, showing a slight increase of the net positioning. This correlates perfectly with what we would like to see, because we would like to see short-term bullish price action and then longer-term bearish continuation after the creation of the weekly W formation. So in a situation like this, since there is definitely the possibility to see more bullish continuation, how we could be approaching 
this move higher if the market goes and tests this support. Now, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes combined with the COT data, those are the best timeframes from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best timeframes are the intraday timeframes, so for our and lower. Therefore, what we could be doing, potentially also with students, is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the downside, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bearish market as we would have to an intraday bullish market. And if the market would shift from an intraday bearish to a bullish market and provide to us one of our valid entries at that point, we could be looking for a potential move higher for the market to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. Now, if you don't know what I'm speaking about when I say valid entries and these kind of things, you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website here. You have the possibility to get access to my entire courses with all the rules of the strategies. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring, the VIP market breakdowns with the Telegram signals, the COT data software, which is precisely the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. And if you scroll lower here, past the testimonials, you will see that at the moment I'm running a massive special promotion in which you have a huge discount on the upfront price of the mentorship program from 497 all the way down to only 97 one-time payment. And as an option, since I have partnered with the Forex broker Blueberry Markets, if after you join the mentorship program, you open an account with them, you can get a full refund credited back into your trading account. And if you scroll lower, you will see that there is still time to join before the offer expires and price goes back to normal. And directly from here, there is the button to join in order to gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the checkout process. So definitely looking forward to have you on board. The link is also in the description, at least. You're supposed to go and check it out and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free analysis, education and updates for all of you. And I will see you in my next breakdown.